Hi, my name is Dr. Talia Malagon, and I am here to present our research on HPV transmission rates between heterosexual couples. Uh, this study was done in collaboration with my colleagues at McGill University and uh, also at the University of Toronto. So for those of you who don't know, HPV is a sexually transmitted infection that is in most cases asymptomatic, but may eventually cause anogenital and or pharyngeal cancers in men and women. Uh, so this was a prospective cohort study uh, of couples, and our main objective was to measure HPV transmission rate between heterosexual couples to see whether there are any sex differences in transmission rates between men and women. And this study was special because we have information on HPV infection in both partners over time, so we can actually detect when HPV transmission occurs. Uh, the main difficulty is that because HPV is an asymptomatic infection, the observations are interval censored, uh, meaning that we do not know the exact moment at which the individual becomes infected. We only know whether they are HPV positive or negative at a given point in time when they come in to get tested. Um, and so we only know that they were infected between two study visits. So in order to measure incidence rates, we used a Bayesian multi-state model, which calculated the transmission rates accounting for this interval that exists between two visits um, and is able to account for the uncertainty and the timing of the infection. Using this method, we also analyzed what variables were associated with higher transmission rates. And what we found was that HPV transmission rates were higher from women to men than from men to women in our study. And this was an interesting finding that was consistent with the findings of other smaller studies that had been done previously, um, but that was confirmed in our larger study. And we hypothesized that this difference, uh, the sex difference in transmission rates may be due to sex differences in the immune response to HPV infection. We also found in our study that consistent condom use had a protective effect on the risk of HPV transmission between partners. Um, and the incidence rates that we measured in our study are important because they can inform models of HPV transmission which are being used currently worldwide to assess the impact of preventive interventions against HPV infection, such as vaccination and cervical cancer screening. Uh, our results also bolster the evidence for the promotion of condom use to reduce HPV transmission risk. The main limitation of our study is that we know based on previous research that HPV transmission rates do vary a lot between different populations, uh, probably based on their sexual behaviors. Um, so it's therefore possible that the transmission rates that we measured in our study may not be generalizable to populations which have very different sexual behaviors. Hopefully I have piqued your interest in our study, which you can read in full in this May 2021 issue of Epidemiology under the title Sex and Type Specific Genital Human Papillomavirus Transmission Rates Between Heterosexual Partners, a Bayesian Reanalysis of the Hitch Cohort.